Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're making progress here, slowly but surely. Last run was a decent test, hopefully this run ends up being a little easier. Is that freaking, oh it's Shielded Tears. Kula 3 Minute. We've all been there. Um, this is Shielded Tears and the Anarchist Cookbook. Have we, I guess we haven't been starting with the Anarchist Cookbook that much lately, but what we've been doing, as we get a little chubby here, is starting with bad spacebar items and then Anarchist Cookbook shows up and is kind of like the lesser of the two evils. Our rate of fire actually seems amazing, by the way, and uh, the Shielded Tears, I gotta admit, it's like we never left last run, and the HP is a relatively good start as well, especially considering we have the Spirit Heart going along with it. If we can just get, um... If we can just get, I guess, not hit? That's probably an awkward way to phrase that. If we can just get not hit on this floor, we should be okay. I don't know, I went for like the Little Caesars Pizza Lawyer commercial voice there, which some people have caught in <laughs> recent episodes. Well, I'm just a small town pizza lawyer, but I assure you, it's all perfectly legal. It's TV, man. I've been I've been watching too much TV, which is like 15 minutes a day, but it's still too much. Um, I would rather have the pill, I guess, than than try anything too sneaky over there when it comes to the uh, pots. And the pill ended up being explosive diarrhea. How ironic! Which ended up turning a two cent profit for us. Not that bad, honestly. Headless Horseman. Oh, this is actually really good. Okay, there goes our Spirit Heart. So let's not die. That's a big part of this. We've got to definitely avoid the whole dying thing. But uh, assuming we can avoid death, we can get out of this relatively difficult boss fight with an awesome benefit, which is the ability to fly. Even if it is an active item, it's well worth giving up the Anarchist Cookbook for. I'm going to be super happy to be in this situation, actually. Okay, let's... uh. Explore a little bit more, because I would like to have the ability to buy a, uh, a chest if we can. Oh, what am I talking about? Buy a chest. You know what I mean. I'd like to have the opportunity to buy a uh, spirit heart, if it's at all possible. We only need one cent to make it happen. And a key, of course. That's the other element that is a little bit more nebulous for us. Actually worked out very well. And it's explosive diarrhea again. Um, I have no idea where a secret room would be here. I'm gonna guess that it would probably be... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna guess the second secret room would probably be here. And that's gonna be, like, maybe the best of the, you know, the best of the bad situation. And we actually picked up a black heart, so I don't really feel like we need to pick up a spirit heart from our shop anymore. Instead, we can just head on into our, um, our next floor and just be on our merry way here. Alright, we're good. We're, we're fine, man. 15 cents is also amazing. 18 cents is even better. Um, and an arcade, so we're... <laughs> all of our dreams are coming true. Now, the only thing that could put a real damper on this floor, apart from just, like, the world's worst item room, would be, uh... Well, even if we got the world's worst item room, we could just choose not to take it. But, um, we could, um, instead... Get a shitty deal with the devil, one that doesn't give us any precedent. And that would be a little bit of a piss-off, but... Apart from that, I think we're pretty much sitting pretty here. At least as far, like, it's not a one-run, obviously. But we're in a great position as far as, like, uh, momentum goes in the early game. And I do think there's something to be said about momentum in Isaac, you know? Most most runs are made up of an aggregate... Oh, that was so bad. And now I'm at risk of death. Um, most runs are an aggregate of items, and... Presently... We would like to, uh... Get some... HP here, please. Uh, presently... Thank you. We have a couple of good ones already. Little Chubb's decent. Shielded Tears is pretty good. Uh, ability to fly is nice. Thank God I didn't hide this in a place where I couldn't get it. And thank God we got our HP back there. Now, we could still completely bung up our chances of getting a deal with the Devil, but hopefully uh, that doesn't happen. Just keeping the map up for now. No Tinted Rock on here, which has me a little frightened, but not too bad. Obviously, we can go into... Uh, our curse room for a pretty cheap cost. Very short. I should not be taking damage on that room. That is sloppy ass play, and I will be the first to tell you that. Um, this is good though. I mean, at least we got a good trinket out of it, so we probably fucked our deal with the devil chance. Oh, that's that's so disappointing for me. But it's on me. You know what do you want me to say? I uh, that that's definitely something I have to take ownership of. I don't think there's any reason like not to use our pony active effect here. We're probably not going to use it on the boss. Even though it might be useful. 
definitely we'll get the key. Um, definitely we'll get there's options. I do think we should get the spirit heart. Just see what's in here first. The mine, huh? That's really good. Let's get the spirit heart. The mind is a is a crazy good item. And I do think we'll lose half that spirit heart right away, go into our uh, curse room, just to see if we get something in there. You never know, maybe we get the pentagram, raise our deal with the devil chance. We didn't get the pentagram, but we did get a key and contract from below, which is really, really good. Even if we don't get a deal with the devil, at least we got a deal with the devil item. Now, I'm going to uh, go to our second, or sorry, our regular secret room, because I want money. It's not money, it's bombs. Uh, now we will go to our second secret room. I want money because it would give me keys. That just gives me the edge a little bit, I think. Or gives the edge to that room. I will blow this up in hopes of getting money. We even got a bomb back out of it, which is nice. And we finally did collect on our key situation there. Alright, let's do this. And we got nothing. Alright, so now that's, you know, we've exhausted our options to some extent. It's time to go here. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. Even though I've probably squandered my, uh, my deal with the devil chance on this floor. The mind is really good, contract from below is super nice, and we'll be able to, uh... We'll be able to live our life here, man. We'll be able to have a good time. Just a couple more hits. We could still get a deal with the devil. And honestly, we didn't deserve it, but we got it, so I'm, I am happy about it either way. And now it is a bad deal with the devil in a way, because we didn't get, uh... Oh, man. You know what? I'm still going to stick with the ability to fly for now, just for survival purposes, but, um... We didn't get precedent. However, we got two cat pieces, one of which could give us the ability to get uh, a respawn. So we'll have the option to, uh... To become Guppy relatively early. All we need is a good curse room. Even if we don't get deals with the devil, we have to be thinking that it's at least semi-likely that this will come to fruition. So, there's a little bit of trademark Northern Lion luck there, for sure. Have a, uh, a floor where you should not get a deal with the devil, and instead get a deal with the devil that gives you two cat pieces for free. That's, uh, admittedly, relatively solid. Oh, he bumped me just enough out of the way. That's funny. Bumped me just enough out of the way that I couldn't do damage. This is you, Little Chub. Little Chub is actually really nice in conjunction with, uh... Well, let's just get this in here. Oh, that was very stupid then. Uh, Little Chub is actually very nice in conjunction with Shielded Tears, because for enemies that shoot tears, we tend to cancel each other out, but then Little Chub is the difference maker. It, has, it actually does a little damage in there. Um, let's put this right here. Didn't get anything out of it. That's okay. I don't think the fact that we shouldn't have gotten a deal with the devil, but did, affects our deal with the devil chances. You know, we get into some weird reasoning there. It's like when people are like, oh, you know... Well, yes, I am on a diet right now. But I, I did have a double cheeseburger last night. But it doesn't count, because it was Friday. And everyone knows that the Friday meals don't count. Your body just says it's the weekend. Do whatever you want. Infestation 2 is good here. I'm very guilty of that logic, by the way. Myself. I've chosen to uh, respond to it just by not caring about anything. And it's something that I would definitely not advise. There's a great uh, onion, like I really love the onion, and it's not like it's a rare thing to have happen, but um, they have some great satire that everyone is aware of, but they did this video that was like, um, Surgeon General says, oh hello, Ruka, come on in buddy, I was just about to tell a great anecdote about the onion. You, you don't need to ask my permission. <laughs> is he annoying you? Oh, come here Ruka. Close the door. You can come in. There you go. Go play around with the scratch pad a little bit. Hello. Um, it was like the Surgeon General has issued uh, a reapproval of cigarettes, saying that uh, cigarettes only count when you're not drinking or something like that. And it was a video, and the guy was like, "The Onion, by the way, if you don't know, maybe you're not from the, the an area where it's consumed is a uh, a satire magazine slash website slash you know YouTube channel. So it's it's all made up." And there's a great uh, prevalence of people thinking that it's real, which is hilarious. But anyway, that's something completely different. Um, all I am saying is that the, the guy, when he gets up at the podium, is like, All I'm saying is nobody's ever gotten lung cancer from just a couple of cigarettes while you're drinking. The alcohol coats your throat or some shit like that, and then, you know, it, it's not as harmful. Plus, everyone knows when you're drinking, you don't even smoke it into your lungs. So you don't actually take any, uh, you know, health hit from it. Not that I should put it all in video game terms. This is, don't take this as me being like anti-smoking, oh jeez, or anything like that either. I'm just, uh, I'm 
just issuing a funny article that I saw. Our item room at Infestation 2. We've been to our boss room. We've been to our shop. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Infestation 2 is a huge pickup for us. I mean, you can see that even though our run is not that good, we're getting crazy uh, killing power out of these spiders here. Hey, Ruka. Hey, buddy. What's up, dog? How you doing? Good? Good? That's good. You've been a little annoying lately, buddy, but I know it's because you, uh, you love us and we provide you your food and stuff like that, which is probably, you know, part of the reason that you're evolutionarily programmed to be, like, really cute and cuddly and stuff like that. But that's okay. I don't hold that against you, man. You don't have any control over that. I do, I, you know, I've got some bones to pick with evolution, though, man. Like, uh, can you get rid of these fucking wisdom teeth already? Like, I, I had my wisdom teeth take, hey, hey, you don't get to come up here. I had my wisdom teeth taken out. Cat, please. Oh, that was scary. Not cat piece. Cat, please, stay back. There you go, that's perfect. That's a great position for you. You can hang out by my mouse. I don't need that when I play this game. Some would argue I don't need it when I play first-person shooters either, because, uh, uh, have you seen my aim? But anyway. I had my wisdom teeth removal recently, and it's fine, like, I'm better now, but it hurt for, like, three weeks. Because I'm old and the bone takes forever to heal, when you're older, apparently. I'm old and, you know, don't don't take it as me asking for sympathy. Oh, you're not old, you're not old. This is not me being uh, pissed off about my uh, mortality. It's rather just, you know, I am old from a wisdom tooth perspective, where most people get it out when they're, like, 16. However, um, I got this weird little, like bone chip or something and I gotta go back to the dentist and I'm pretty sure I've got these like nightmares I don't, I've never had a problem with dentists before but I got these nightmares he's gonna be like oh yeah we accidentally left like a uh, chip of bone in there we're gonna have to open up the wound and start it all over again and I'm like please my geriatric gums have just healed now um, it's okay like I will survive I just wish that I didn't have to do it so evolution if you're listening um, please Get rid of wisdom teeth. Like, I know the evolution conference is coming up. Make sure that's high on the docket. Um, I, it would be nice, is all I'm trying to say. I can't believe I'm explaining away all these jokes. But I do need to say that every time, like, on Twitch, I can get the live feedback when I make a joke about evolution. People will be like, Northern Lions doesn't know how evolution works. I know how evolution works. I would, you know, I, this is not bragging because it's really just scratching the surface of the science. But um, I do have an undergraduate degree in biology it took like a lot of uh, evolution focus courses directed my education towards evolutionary biology and psychology and like I'm, I'm cracking a self-aware joke you gotta you just laugh about it a little bit when I'm talking about like Lamarckian and genetics you don't have to be like no oh, northern lion Lamarckian and genetics have been disproven no we all know Lamarckian and inheritance is all just a bunch of bull crap I'm just you know I'm cracking a joke at the expense of Lamarck anyway did you hear that he signed for the Spurs here we go that's what you come here for, right? Is those, like, dope evolutionary history uh, references mixed up with NBA basketball anecdotes. Um, which I probably shouldn't be giving because I know next to nothing about basketball. Except that it was invented by a Canadian, James Naismith. That's right, basketball's Canadian. We've claimed it. Uh, so you might be saying, well, the Raptors have never won, a, you know, the, the trophy. I don't know what it is. The championship, I guess. Well, t yeah, but we invented the game, so technically we've won all the championships. They would not be here without us. How you doing, Ruka? You like the, uh... You like watching it on the stream window? It, it's exactly the same as watching it on my monitor, except I guess it's closer to you. He's lo loving his life right now. He's just, like, perched on my desk, watching me play some Rebirth. It's actually a very cute scene. Are you mad that we haven't hung out uh, that much recently, Ruka? Daddy's been locked in his office, uh, working away. You've been taking snoozes in the bedroom. It's, you know, it's your summer vacation. You're entitled to spend it basically however you choose, Cat. Put you back to work in September or late August. Mm, range down. 48 hour energy. Bad trip. 48 hour energy with the pony is not like, I wouldn't describe it as an enormous coup or anything like that, but it's decent. And we should have a decent chance at actually... Oh, I took Bad Trip in with me. We should have a decent chance at actually um, getting a deal with the devil here. That's my hope, anyway. We're lucky that we're fighting the version of Gertie that doesn't shoot. Instead, it just spawns enemies, which is actually going to help us out a surprising amount. Our damage is not truly amazing, but we have uh, spiders that are created with every single enemy that gets killed. So, Or any every enemy that gets killed by our tears, at least. So it makes it easy for us to... 
at least do a little bit more damage than you might expect. Probably will take a stem cells here, even though we did just have a range downgrade. Um, I think we have to take Satanic Bible here. Just for the, the black heart, but you know, ah, I should roll with Satanic Bible. Our speed's not that bad. Um, now we can't get to that 48 hour energy pill. If only I'd been holding the 48 hour energy pill, this all could have gone differently. Oh well. Uh, I guess it's just down to the next floor, honestly. What do you think, Ruka? You want to stay with the horsey? He says, don't touch me. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Okay. Store credit. Certainly not bad, but at the same time, what am I going to say about store credit when we already have 74 cents? Um, allows me to save 15 cents, up to 15 cents at least. Ooh, we got a rune. It's a Degas rune. I'm just going to use it. Uh, we'll take our early spirit heart just so that we can have a little bit of help when it comes to balling out of control, hopefully. Well, we, why not take it, right? That's the other thing is like for all my blundering and blustering here, there's no reason not to take uh, store credit. Red chest guppy? No, but spirit hearts. It's nice. It's good. Um, let's just keep ourselves busy and working here. Keep our mind off of the fact that uh, one day we're all going to be food for worms. Second one's going to come down top. Third one was very close behind. That was almost a terrible decision on my part. Okay, there we go. As long as we can just start the chain reaction get like one spider, it would help to get a little bit more damage so that each spider was basically guaranteed to kill an enemy. But whatever. Okay, we're going to put that there and then move. It's not like we really want to save keys and use bombs, but it's rather that I can skip the big room at least early by doing this. And you know what? Fuck it. Let's take Tiny Planet. It showed up on the last run. I didn't really give it a chance. Uh, so we'll take it on this run, and I don't think Tiny Planet is that bad, at least I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people seem to think it is. Um, there are some things that make Tiny Planet- oh my god, Ruka, you alright, buddy? He's just getting ready for a snooze, I guess. There are some things that make Tiny Planet, uh, roughly unusable. One of them is ex incredibly low rate of fire, the other one is incredibly low damage. We don't have either of those right now. Instead, we're just gonna, um... Take this as, like, it's a nice thing. I would like to have the ability to fly as well. And, of course, if we could just pick up a cat piece in this uh, curse room, that would go a long way. But, uh, honestly, I think we can build a pretty fun Tiny Planet run out of this. And I've kind of come back from my militant position of, like, Tiny Planet's good, and anybody who doesn't like it is just scared. Like, Tiny Planet is situationally good, situationally interesting. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to have the opportunity to give it a good shot here. That is not a cat piece. It was a trip on the way to get a cat piece, and I am going to pick up Sister Maggie, as also not a cat piece. Um, I wanted to do this, though, just to be like, um, you know, it gives us something else that's shooting straight in front of us, like Brother Bobby, like Little Chubb, so that actually um, we can have a little bit of a reliable way to deal damage to enemies that are right up in our grill. Now, I'm going to use another bomb here, and you should probably, like, rightfully be mad at me for this, but... Uh, we'll buy the Spirit Heart, and we already have the Steam Sale, I guess I forgot. Blue Candle is actually really tempting. Just wait for this to go up and come down, because we want to get a uh, flat penny again. Not that it's going to be that useful, but, um... Oh, that was incredibly stupid. Um, we want to, uh... We want to keep Satanic Bible, I think, for survivability, and... If we take Blue Candle, in a way, it's kind of compromising the, uh the tiny planetness of the run. Yeah? You can't sleep because uh, daddy's talking shop here? That's all right. Hey, buddy. You'll be okay. I'll be done soon. Then I'll I'll play with you for th two or three minutes until you get bored and fall asleep. As cats are. It's not like I don't know what I'm getting into here. Um, second secret room is too far away and there's a couple of big rooms in the way, so I'm going to be a total pussy and say I don't really want to go. I will take Bob's brain. This is just a, a whole host of items that uh, not everybody is 100% down with, but that's okay. We got Hive Mind. Or sorry, we don't have Hive Mind, but we got uh, Infestation 2 is what I mean to say there. And actually, Bob's Brain, in my opinion, is a really, really good item. Especially if your damage is lacking. And what's nice about it is that relative to Tiny Planet, at least it shoots straight, right? So we've got uh, something going for us there. Okay, Cat. Mouse pointer's only on the capture window, so you're all right right there, but don't move anymore. That was not a good place to stand. 
recognize I'm shooting in the wrong direction. That's because I don't really want to get, like, line of sight with the bloat right now, if I can avoid it. Okay, you come down here. I'll move. Bob's brain will hit, and the poison damage is almost enough to finish the job. There we go. We got three extra spiders there. And a deal with the devil. We'll definitely take Torn Photo. We already know our deal with the devil is empty, but Torn Photo is going to be a huge help for us. Hello, my cat friend. You know that when this run is over, you're going to have to move, right? He has no idea. Anyway, guppy, 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 just spirit hearts. But, you know, just spirit hearts. As far as justs go, that's pretty good. We also have a curse room, so I'm still holding out hope here. We don't have a great deal with the devil chance uh, on this floor. And it is depths too, so... I mean, we've been making good time. I can't deny this. But uh, definitely boss rush is not going to happen. We're just a little bit too slow, and Tiny Planet's not going to help things in that regard. We actually would like this guy to do his big jump, if it's at all possible. If it's at all possible. You summon some enemies, thank you. We'll get a couple of spiders out of that, which I think have already been used. Oh, you know what? I bet we don't actually get spiders when Bob's brain does the damage. It's probably only when our tears have done the kill shot. A little frustrating. That's okay. Bob's brain's still like a huge damage dealer for us. Let's get him to jump. And then we'll do that. Okay. Very helpful. And I've taken way more damage than I'd like to admit against this guy, but it is what it is. Nothing else. That's okay. You got uh, judgments, demon judgments? No, just a blood bank. Not that that's a bad thing. Sometimes, you know, it's been known to happen. They'll pay out on one play. Did we just generate a spider from playing the blood bank? Infestation 2 gives you a spider when you get hit? That can't be true. Then there's no reason at all for Spider Baby to exist. Spider Baby's already bad. You don't need to give its uh, effectiveness, like its complete reason for existence, to another item. That's just a little silly. Good stuff. Good stuff. We can just take out this guy, get a battery charge we probably won't be able to get to. That's okay. Oh, we're just like slightly outside the effective range. There we go. Not a battery charge, just spiders. Which is actually a good thing for once. And uh, let's check this out. Guppy! <laughs> okay, I'm a little salty. The Guppy dream has not come to fruition yet. At the same time, we did get those two cat pieces pretty much for free, so I can't be too bent out of shape about it. How do I feel about this? I feel like this has the potential to be super fast and like snowball-y, or it has the potential to take forever, depending on how much damage our spiders do relative to how much HP these guys have. So if our spiders roughly kill the enemies in like one or two hits, then I think it's gonna go relatively fast. If it takes them longer than that, it could take forever. Okay, so we've already done like kind of the, the carnival stuff. We've done the, the weird part of this floor, the non-item room and shop part of this floor. Um, let's... Take a look at our map and see where the heck we're going here. Why can we see everything? Did, we didn't use like a world card. Well, we have the mind, right. Why did I, did I actually buy a blue map when I already have the mind? That's very silly. Although I don't know if the mind actually shows you the second secret room. So maybe it wasn't completely for naught. All right, we'll blow this up. Mm, we'll still blow this up. Try as you might, tiny planet, you will not succeed. Let's uh, go down to our item room. Hemorrhaging HP, I'll admit, you know, I'm not pleased with it, but... It's going okay. Robo Baby, you are surprisingly worth your weight in gold on this room. Okay, we got one more room, and then one more room. And then our item room. And our shop up there. You know, if it has blue candle, or if it has red candle in it, because we've already seen blue candle, I might be tempted, because, uh... It's starting to get a little... A little salty with the damage here, but it is what it is, man. This is why you take tiny plants. It's not really our damage, it's our ability to do damage consistently, but... Oh, you gotta break. You're about to break! You're about to break. Thank you. Virgo. Only good pills. Um... So, this becomes balls of steel. That's why you hold it for so long in the hopes that something like that will happen, but, uh... It's, it's a great item, let's just be honest. It is a great item. Virgo is also, like, occasional Celtic Cross effect, I think. I should remember that, but it's actually... It's been a while since I committed it to memory, so... I believe that that's the case, and actually, that's really good as well. Um, mostly just in terms of raw invincibility. We don't have any, like, special orbitals or anything like that that are going to help us do more damage. We won't have to worry so much about Bob's brain, I guess. 
And I really hope, you know, like today I have not done very well when it comes to my donation machine, so I'm hoping that I can maybe buff it out a little bit. We got 89 cents. If it wants to take all 89, that's fine by me. I might like an item. Just spirit hearts. But I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy to have the spirit hearts. However, it would be awesome if we also, like, didn't get the spirit hearts and instead we became guppy and ruled the world with an iron fist. Luck up. Two luck ups is great. Thank you, Virgo. Oh my god. Kent, you gotta be careful there. Explosive diarrhea. Um, we'll buy the Bible so we never have to see it. We'll take this. Uh, we'll take this as another luck upgrade. Might want to buy the bomb before we leave. But in, until then, let's just wedge ourselves back here if we can. And basically, we're going to give our donation machine as much as it'll take. Right, Ruka? How you doing, buddy? You want to give me a little boogie boogie? You want to give me a little boogie boogie on the face? No? You want to sleep? Okay, that's fine, too. That's acceptable. We got a potentially long road in front of us here, so... Does he want to give me a little boogie boogie? little boogie boogie? No, he says no boogie boogie. That's fine. Sometimes he likes to rub his face up against me. Sometimes he just wants to sleep. But I mean, we'll stop the public displays of affection here. This is taking a staggering amount of money. I'm super happy. Even if we get money equals power, this is permanent, man. The ability to have our donation machine climbing higher and higher feels good. And we could potentially hit as high as like 650 here. We got a good seed with this donation machine and we're... It's been like three or four months. We've almost... There we go. We've almost come to the point where... Um, Diarrhea. Yeah, sure. We've almost come to the point where we've gotten it back to where it was before I accidentally uh, played it and blew it up forever. I'm really happy that, like, I, that's the way I would rather do it for the most part is if there's like one run where the donation machine will take like 80 cents. I like that more than doing 14 runs, which only takes it to 70 anyway. 16 runs uh, of donating 5 cents each and then having the donation machine explode. So I think this is way nicer. Just gonna work our way over to that boss fight. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious probably the way that we're gonna choose to tackle the rest of this floor. We're really hoping for a deal with the devil after the uh, mom fight, but I'm not particularly expecting a deal with the devil after the mom fight, because we just had one. What do you think about this? Uh, it's We'll have to give it a test drive because we can't go into the boss fight with it and then come back out. I actually quite like it. And I'm very sorry to Satanic Bible, but I think I'm going to roll Tammy's head here. Just because it's weird and, and high damage, and I, th I think it might save me more HP than I end up losing uh, from not having Satanic Bible. Could be wrong. As you can, I mean, that was pretty good. Considering we're fighting Blue Mom, I was really pleased with the amount of damage that Tammy's head did for us there. We have Infestation 2 as well. I'm thinking that Tammy's Head's tears probably do spawn spiders. I think. For now, this is going real well, as long as we can just get a couple spiders. No, Ruka, no! Ruka! Okay. He's, he's compromised here. He says, I don't want to sit there. I want to sit slightly up. You can't sit slightly up, my feline friend. You can sit right here. All right, and if you got a problem with that, you you don't like it, Napoleon, you can leave. Looks like you want to give me boogie boogie? No, he says, go fuck yourself. You didn't let me sit three inches up, which is where I desired to sit. Well, you're blocking the screen, dog. I'm trying to I'm trying to provide a decent Isaac gameplay here, and we're in a touchy spot. I'm sorry, but this is where you gotta sit. Okay? He won't look me in the eye. Oh my God, it's it's like having a, a teenage son that doesn't respect me. It's the trials and tribulations of cat ownership. Red chest, guppy, guppy dream. Oh my god. No, the, the guppy dream continues to die. There you go. That's a perfect spot for you to sit, Ruka. Live it, love it, learn it, life it. That's the, the five L's. I've been sticking to those since I was a, a young pup. Watched a very formative television show called The L Word, and it, uh, it illuminated me, opened my eyes. Never seen the L word actually, so it's possible like that joke doesn't make any sense. The only L I know is L Woods from Legally Blonde and Legally Blonde 2, Red, White, and Blonde. Let's be honest, I shouldn't be very pleased about that damage. Um, but it happened, and now it's all about what we do with it basically. That's life, man. Shit happens, you gotta. That's why they say you turn uh, lemons into lemonade. So we're just gonna head straight down. Uh, the second secret room doesn't really do much for us. 
Oh, I probably should not have gotten so close with Tammy's head, but I also didn't expect him to die so quickly, actually. Sounds a little morbid. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this. Oh my god, the two spirit R payout is good there. Uh, maybe like Black Lotus in here? I mean, that's a tall ask. It would be nice, though. I think we're probably fine on keys for now, so I would take a new trinket as well. No curse room on this floor means our guppy chances hinge pretty much exclusively on the, uh, on the devil room, if we can get one. But I'm feeling pretty good about this one regardless. You know, last run was my opportunity to, uh, evangelize the shears, which I do get the opportunity to do a lot. This run is me saying, like, remember, <laughs> Tammy said is also pretty good. And I use this item all the time, and people occasionally think that I overrate the shit out of it. You might be right. Um, I'll admit, there's a couple of items that just particularly tickle my fancy. And Tammy's head is is one of them. I, I take this item as often as possible when it's available. Oh my god. But um, I do think it's really, really good. Mama Gertie. I think we hit with almost every shot there. Loving the permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, actually, that was Celtic Cross from... Um, Virgo, but either way. Do we want HP? Ah, uh, you, you blew it, Krampus! We had a chance. Actually, Tiny Planet uh, combined with Lump of Coal is really good, and that's what we got, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Bad Gas is a relatively meaningless pill, and uh, I think we want... I think we want the shot speed and the speed, honestly, because... Um, we, we don't want to fuck up our permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is actually being quite helpful for us. Curse Room. There is not one, but there is a, um... There is a Mob Trap Room. And now, like, the Tiny Planet's Tammy's Head action, I think is gonna be really, really good. And I'm not that scared of big rooms, even though there's a lot of enemies, you know, we're, we're also gonna get a lot of spiders generated on them. Sometimes there'll be, like, chain reactions that we can deal with. Two keys is an easy cost here. Infamy has uh, saved many a run, even if we don't always notice it. There you go. Go to sleep. They need like a Samuel L. Jackson narrated go the F to sleep, but it's for cats and it's just like a mouse pointer that goes back and forth and then eventually stops and then you, you sleep for 16 hours. One pill. But it's balls of steel. That's pretty good. I knew it was going to be good because of the Virgo effect, but uh, didn't always expect it to be that good. Lost all of our spiders. That's okay. We can build more. Build might not be the right word. In a way, I'm kind of feeling like it's in our best interest to, like, um, start our Tammy's headshot further away. That way the shots have a little bit more time to grow and get the... Uh, get the uh, lump of coal bonus. That time, it did not really work out as intended, but that's okay. We're, we're gonna miss out. Oh no, we still got our spirit heart there. I always stress out about like, oh, we gotta kill the gurglings first, but it, apparently it just doesn't matter. Good stuff. Good and stuff. And moving on. Still taking a little while here. Like, our, our run has slowed down quite a lot. And that's okay. Nothing to sweat about it. We don't want that, at least not yet. A little preview of the, the tile set that's coming on the cathedral. I'm a little scared about this tile set, not because of the tiles, but because of what comes along with the tiles. The cathedral can be a, a little bit of a tricky floor. Tendency to have like some smaller rooms that are going to be tougher for me to use Bob's brain in, but... Uh, I think i got to admit for now that this run is shaping up a little bit better than I expected. Worse in a way, because I don't have the, the guppy dream that I thought I would have by now, but, but better, than, uh, better than it could have for sure. Alright. I think we'll just make sure that all these shots are as many as possible hit mom and we'll just pretty much put as many shots in the air as we can and uh, we'll assume that the rotational uh, accuracy will work out in our favor here and I'll just dodge back and forth a little bit. It's actually doing a surprising amount of damage. We're not going to make that many spiders unfortunately. Thank you Infamy for saving me from a hit there. Always got to say thank you. It's just the Canadian way. That's not great damage. It's okay. You know what would have been sweet? The Nun's Habit. Yes, you are correct, Self. The Nun's Habit would have been pretty dope to be able to use Tammy's head more than once per room would have been nice. That's okay, though. Really good fight, and we're headed up to the Cathedral. So far, so good. 
It's actually not that long of a run relative to some of the ones that we've had, obviously. Um, there is no curse room. There is a mob trap room, which I probably should be interested in, but sort of am not. There could be red chests, but at this point, am I really that concerned about, like, one red chest? Of course, it only takes one red chest to become guppy. Um, but it's just as likely to have spirit hearts in it, which we sort of can't even use. I will go fight this boss, though. That was shitty damage. Oh, but now we can use the spirit hearts. I will go fight this boss, though, because if it's ultra pride, or sorry, super pride, we could uh, pick up nine lives. And either way, we stand a chance to pick up something. I did say a chance in my own defense. Uh, not the worst possible room on the cathedral, but pretty terrible. Please, let me out. We made it. We know we don't have to go through that room again, so I'm not going to sweat that. But man, uh, that is a is not a room I'm too fond of, despite it not being the literal worst. Alright, this is a different room. We want to actually like use this right in the, the center of the room, because these guys start at the corners. Good stuff. I can't believe we've managed to maintain permanent Polaroid invincibility as well. Like, most times, I would definitely have fucked this up by taking a half heart or something like that. It is what it is. Um, we'll check out our second secret room, just hoping for, like, a black heart, I guess, or a fortune teller. Or a red chest that contains a guppy item, which that one did not, but it's okay, we've learned. So, this gambit backfires terribly if my shots actually do not land, so that's probably the thing I should learn. You know what, let's, um, let's stand in here and keep firing straight, because, uh, Bob's Brain, Little Chub, those are gonna do straight damage. I think this is one of those runs where we're gonna be worse against bosses than we are against the rooms that precede bosses, because we have, like, a spacebar item we can just knock out right away that's gonna do, like, it's gonna kill a lot of enemies. Even on the chest, it still will. Um, but this is gonna be the easier part, and then when we have, like, limited access to Isaac when he starts his next phase, that's when things are gonna get a little tricky, I think. We've got a couple of spiders to help out. He doesn't create any more enemies at this point, though, so we gotta... Gotta be smart. It's gonna take forever. Honestly, I kind of feel like, let's try to throw some bombs in there. Thank you, Infamy! You tried, and I fucked it up twice. That's my bad. The Celtic Cross invincibility is out of control, though. Thank you so much. I know you're not supposed to get close here. Infamy blocking shots from within invincibility. I love it. Um, I know you're not supposed to get close with a lump of coal, but at the same time, I'm guaranteeing that those shots hit, which actually seems pretty worthwhile. A lot of our shots are being stopped by uh, the shielded tears here, but this is still... It's good. I can't help but feel a little bit scared about uh, the chest now that I've taken so much damage through the back half of this one. There you go. Chubb, you got it. Robo Baby, you got it. We did it. Okay, I'm um, really hoping for good items, obviously, on the chest. We've got a pretty good idea of the fact that we can get down to the boss fight quickly. Just gotta make it happen. Curse of the Blind. Very scary. Box of Spiders. It's good. Bob's Curse is fine, I guess. Scapular is potentially game-saving. Cricket's body is gonna be awesome, but also very strange. But also awesome! If I didn't mention that part, uh, that we just killed... We just killed Gertie in one hit. Boss fight is a long way away, but that's okay. Let's try this in the middle. We're expecting these Cricket's body shots to, to land and actually do quite a lot of damage. Very bad damage on my part. We really can't afford to do that very often because, uh... We don't have a, a constantly regenerating supply of spirit arts. This room is the worst, man. Possibly the worst room on the entire chest. So, don't move my mouse pointer, you scumbag cat. I love my cats, I'm just saying. I'm just gonna stand a little back here, we're fine. Six HP still, and two question marks. Doctor's remote, not so good. The soul, the spirit hearts, extremely useful. The bullet protection. Also potentially incredible, so I'm, I'm loving it. Oh, right, we can't fly. Yamaha, uh, we do not want. Another really tough room. Well, one thing's for sure, you know, on this one, I probably should have been hit there. Oh, there we go. We got our comeuppance. Um, one thing's for sure, you know, if we make this one work, I really do feel like we've earned it. I think I got hit right at the end of my invincibility there. I really do feel like we've earned this one if we make it. I want to put all these out just in case there's some spirit hearts available. Uh, an easy room! Easy-ish, anyway. And I took damage on it because... fuck. Let's be smart. Cat. 
you put your hand inside of mine like some kind of cute Annie Leibovitz pa uh, picture, and I love you, okay? You're my boy. Daddy's got to focus right now, though. All right, well, I guess we'll be killing Gluttony last. We have enough HP to make this work. Question is, how well can we dodge? Uh, th that helps out a ton, as you're probably already aware. As did the soul, without those we'd be in a very tricky situation. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one of those we take as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's stand close-ish. And we we did so much better with uh, Tammy's head there. Part of that might be Cricket's body, but we really, really did a lot better with that one. Alrighty. Generating a lot of spiders, and it's looking like this one's going to be pretty automatic. I'm, we, I never really uh, felt 100% confident on this run. But it's one of those runs where, like, one cap piece would have changed it from, like, uh, you know, 100% guaranteed to a little tricky, but well, a little bit of luck on our side. Let's say we got we got seasoned with just enough luck to make this uh, to make this a pretty fun run. I had a good time on it. Anytime you can win with Tiny Planet, I think you got to say, you know, thank you to RN Jesus for, for blessing you like that. So, uh, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. We're almost literally over here. There we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And, of course, I will see you next time.